Online and, and, and on your smart speaker. Boil Copenhagen, warm dust ice cream, open every day for food and coffee. Over 270 free aim centres service in Australia since 1979. Hello, it's Matt Layton with you. The Prime Minister says it's important to enshrine an Indigenous voice to Parliament and then fine-tune the details later. Anthony Albanese would like a referendum on the issue, giving Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders greater say on policies. The PM has told the ABC a public vote is an important first step. That's why I'm optimistic that Australians will, will embrace this simple concept that where issues affect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, they should be consulted. And, and the, out of that will come better practical results. The opposition is open to the move, but is worried the referendum will fail if Aussies don't quite understand what they're voting for. The Adelaide Football Club is investigating reports of a racist incident against a Carlton star. It's understood a spectator made a racially motivated comment towards a player last night at Adelaide Oval. In a statement, the AFL says there is no place for racist behaviour in the game. Leaders and musicians are paying tribute to one of the nation's most loved singer-songwriters. Archie Roach passed away in a Victorian hospital at the age of 66 after a long battle with illness. And veterans are marking 60 years since Australia became involved in the Vietnam War. Around 60,000 Aussies served between 1962 and 76 resulting in more than 500 deaths. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to foodbank.org.au. The Eagles and Suns are going head-to-head -head this afternoon at Metricon Stadium. Gold Coast coach Stuart Dew says they are pushing for September action. There's, a, I guess, a hunger to finish the year really well. We're just set up differently. Um, we've got bigger bodies, the maturity's there. We've got greater depth, obviously, so we're looking forward to the next month or so. At quarter time, Gold Coast was ahead by 15. And Shane Edwards becomes the first Indigenous Tiger to reach game 300 when he runs out against the Lions later this afternoon. <laughs> The chance of showers and thunderstorms for the Limestone Coast for the rest of today. We're dropping down to 6 tonight. Showers and 14 tomorrow. Showers increasing on Tuesday. And our listener app is the home of radio, podcast, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand.